gorgeous people and welcome to my channel today. I'm Isa Govin and today I'll take you to Lightroom and show you how I edit a photo of the beautiful German Shepherd puppy that we took some action photos of last time. Uh, we'll use Lightroom, you'll need a pen and a tablet because it's much easier to work with that. Yeah, let's jump in. So we're in Lightroom, we see that our exposure is correct, so we don't need to do much here. I'll bring down the highlights because the snow is a bit too wide. I'll bring up some shadows because I think this might be a bit too dark. I'll put down the blacks and I bumped up the texture just a tiny bit. I'm basically prepping this photo for Photoshop later. Mm, and I usually don't do much here. I'll go in the HSL slash color panel. I'll drag down the yellows and the oranges because, well, my Nikon tends to tilt towards the green and I don't like it that much. So I always switch those two. Um, I always switch those two sliders. And then we'll go to green, see what it does. Okay, I like it more when it's yellow and a bit desaturated. Okay, nice. For after, yes, I like it a lot. Next thing we do, that I mostly do in Photoshop later, but I decided to show you uh, today as well, uh, are radial filters. So I can selectively decide uh, what I want to enhance, which would naturally be the eyes. I will leave the exposure here. Yes, we have to invert it, of course. There we go. Exposure. And a bit of shadows. There we go. And I'll add some highlights. Yes, that's good. Go over. See you at where the area that's affected is. Okay, that's good. I'll take another filter, make it big like the dog. Like that. Good. This time I won't invert it and I'll bring down the clarity and the texture. This is so the outside isn't as, as sharp as the dog. Then I go over them so I see if I did it correctly. Let's see, yes. I think that's nice. Um, but I'll do, I think. But I think I'll. I'll make everything outside a bit darker. So I'll bring down the exposure because we want our pup to be the center of attention, which means it has to be the brightest and the sharpest and um, the biggest thing in the photo. So that's that. Go to brush, erase, flow to 100, feather to 100. Right and erase. See, confirm, click on the mask. Yes, mm, I think our dog could use some more popping out of the frame. So we make a mask over the dog. We will lift the exposure. A bit and the shadows and we will invert the mask because we want this like that but that's way too much way too much like that and I want to take a look at the mask because I think it's yeah it's not big enough Let's see Feather is just too big in my opinion. Let's see, we can feather it less. 
Yes, now it's much better, but still I think the feather is too great. Yeah, still not working for me. Uh, I'll use the brush and I will add some of the dog into it and hope it will work this time. This is why I kind of don't like to do this in Lightroom because it's, I don't know, it just, it, it just doesn't do it for me. Uh, I'll erase what I don't need. There we go. Okay, let's see. We've done a good job. What happened? Let's see. Yes, almost. We have to manage the area with the ear. But I think we are getting better at this. Erase. Good. Perfect. Now let's take a look what we done. That was before. And that's after. Before. And after. And now we're ready to import our photo into Photoshop and finish it there. That's about it. That's what I do in Lightroom. It's basic, simple, um, not complicated, but it does a lot. So we can actually start working on the real thing in Photoshop later. I hope you liked it. I hope you maybe learned something new. If you did like it, press a thumbs up, press subscribe or share it to a friend that might need that. Um, know that I'll be posting my next video next Monday. Uh, I hope you'll stop by then too. And if you'd like to see a specific video, you can also comment below and tell me what you'd like to see. I would also be very happy if you could support me and buy me a coffee on coffee.com. Uh, the link's also down below. And well, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.